welcome to my channel. I hope that you're having a great day. I have a design team project for ASC Craft Supplies. I will link both of their online stores in the description box below. And my coupon code is Michelle10 for 10% off any regular price purchases. And any order $75 or more ships free. And what I have created today are some cards from a card kit and I will share more of the card kit with you here after I show you what I've created. There were eight cards in the kit. It came with everything but the pearls and some seam binding and some of the lace that I added. So some of them I didn't add anything extra and some of them I did add a few things extra. So this is the first one. It's a thank you card. It came with the sentiment and it came with the base of the car. The only thing, it does not have envelopes, but this is a standard, I do believe it's an A2 size card. So it is it's four and a quarter by five and a half, but let me just double check that. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I think that's A2, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't ever remember the card sizes. As I said, this is the first one. I did add the lace and the little uh, flat back pearls. But it came with everything. It gives you the instructions of how to layer all of the pieces. But I thought they came out really cute. And then on the inside, of course, they're blank. So I can write a sentiment or I could stamp on the inside. This is the second one. Here, go like that. It lays a little bit better. And I did add the seam binding bow and some pearls on this one. It came with a few extra pieces. And I think I added that extra and the leaves and this little piece there. So it does have a few extra pieces in the kit, which I thought was nice. But I love the color palette. This is soft muted colors is really, really pretty. And it, I think it had two birthday cards in it. So we've got Celebrate here. Just beautiful, timeless, classic cards, I thought. So just really, really pretty. And I love how they layered everything. I layered according to the directions and they did have extra pieces and I did add a few of those and like I said I added some of the seam binding especially here on the tag but I loved the cards I thought they were so pretty and it does include some chipboard pieces and I love this sentiment on this car which is you know got the one two three when I count my blessings I count you twice and I just thought that was so pretty and then I just scattered some really tiny pearls on the little banner there. And I did use some pop dots here and there. But I really am this year trying to get some flat mail cards in my stash just to have. Or, you know, send to friends. Try to be better about giving cards. And then I love this little kitty cat here. And added the pearls and the lace on this one. And then I did add some pop dots. I didn't do too many pop dots because I want it to fit in a regular standard envelope. And on this one, I thought this was so cute. You are my person. I love that one. And once again, I added some lace and a little seam binding bow. I just thought it was really, really pretty. I love the touch of the pink gingham with these, um, like the mustard yellow. In the blue. I thought it was so pretty. And um, I did pop dot the little postage stamps there. And on this one, I really liked it as well. I liked them all. <laughs> I thought they were all really pretty cards. And then it says, hello, thinking of you, dear friend. And I have some lace tucked in behind there. You can just see it a little bit peeking out. And then I did put some seam binding bow on the tag love that yellow flower. I thought it was so pretty. And all the pieces come and you just punch them out of the paper. And I will show you that. And then this one here, you know, you belong among the wildflowers and then love you. And I did change this one a little bit. The heart was an extra piece and I put it here since it matched that floral there. And, you know, on a few of them, I took the tiny pearls and just scattered just for another little texture on the card. But I thought they were so pretty. I loved the color palette. The layering was great. It was nice just to have something just sometimes, you know, you feel like crafting, but you don't want to have to try to think of anything. So this was really fun. And I will share with you how I put those together. I'll just fast forward it so you can see. 
and it comes packaged up. I've already taken it out of the plastic, but I just wanted to show you what you received in the kit. So we have our eight card bases here. We have instructions for the eight cards and everything comes, you get a six by 12 of chipboards and then these will just punch out of the paper and they are coming out very easily and has a nice clean edge and I love the finish. It's like a matte finish on these. So you get your card bases and then you, you know, you get, I think it's four 12 by 12 sheets full of different things to use on your cards. I thought I would just take you guys along with me. So I'm trying to decide if I want to keep these the same or do I want to add some lace um, I'm sure I will add a little bit of pop dotting, not a lot, because I do want them to be fairly flat. But I thought lace, one, one or two layers of pop dots we could get by with, I think that it would still be fairly flat. I'm just going to go ahead and sort these pieces. I'm going to put the card bases in one and the chipboard in one and then the, the smaller pieces in another tray. And I saw Carolina from Carolina's Crafts. She shared this at some point and they're the activity trays from Dollar Tree and I absolutely love these and I've gotten several friends hooked on using them as well. And pop all of these out.
And I do believe these are extra pieces. So I'm just going to figure out where I'm going to tuck these in. But I love these cards. They are amazing. And as we said, so simple. I'm just going to play around with where I want these. So I have went through my stash and added some lace and some seam binding where I think I'm going to add it. <laughs> I'm very indecisive when I craft and I'm trying to, to be better about that. So I'm just going to slide these up here out of the road. And the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put the card base to the front of the card. I'm just going to fold these over and make sure they're lined up. They're already creased. All I'm going to do is give them a good burnish. So I'm going to do that and just decorate the cards.
thanks for watching the tutorial. I hope that you visit ASC Craft Supplies and look at the card kits she has in stock. And I would love to hear which card is your favorite. So we'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.